<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? I thought I would come in here. <laughs> I thought I would come in here and um, shoot a quick vlog because I actually had to put makeup on today, um, which is so funny because if if any of you poor things, if you've been watching my videos since I started back in 2008, was it that I started doing videos or 2009? 2008. First of all, I'm sure you're in a 12-step program to deal with the ringing in your ears that happens when you hear my voice. Um, but anyway, it's funny because back then I used to always have, even if I, it was just, um, anyway, I just always had my makeup on in my videos. And then I remember having a conversation with somebody where they said, um, there's a huge ass bird up on, oh no, okay, that's just the reflection. I thought it was one of those big crows. I'm really pissed at the crows. They've been invading my territory. Anyway, um, but I remember somebody going, you know, we just gone to the gym and they said, you look really good without makeup. And I'm like, um, what? And now it's funny because it's not something I really planned. I just threw a couple videos up one time after my workout and then, I've kind of progressed into this phase in my life. I was telling you guys before, I need so many new clothes, it's scary. Um, because when I first uh, experienced all this hormonal change, I gained weight, so I bought, and I didn't want to buy new clothes because I was clinging on to my, you know, my size sixes and my size eights. I'm like, I can't believe I have to buy something in a size 10 for my pants. I mean, it's all so shallow. And that's all I was worried about. And now, so then I bought some stuff that's carried me through those two years of yo-yo dieting and, you know, not sticking with anything and really just not getting anywhere as far as weight loss is concerned or, you know, really making any progress in general, my fitness journey, because I wasn't doing anything because I loved it. I was doing it because I was beating myself up. Um, but anyway, what's been interesting is now, as I've lost weight and continue to lose weight, I need new clothes and I've come to this place where I realized like, I'm so used to buying suits and, and business clothes in the past and I never put as much um, time or focus or thought into buying workout clothes. Now it's just the opposite. Now I'm spending more time in workout clothes. Obviously it's my business. Um, also because I feel better in my workout clothes. <laughs> what is really funny too is I'm so rarely putting like the whole makeup stuff on and then actually like doing my hair. Don't you guys, you're all used to seeing me in my baseball cap or in a, in a ponytail and a headband getting ready to work out. So cheers to you. Here's a makeup moment for you. I, I'm still a girl, you know, I still love putting makeup on, but it's so funny. I so rarely have earrings. I'm such, I've always been like all about the bling and, and I have so much fun and amazing jewelry. I never wear it anymore. Um, anyway, we'll just save it for special occasions. But anyway, I do have to go to uh, an event. And I had to shoot a video this morning, uh, which required the face. So anyway, black coffee with my coconut oil and cinnamon in it. And I will tell you guys, um, I can, I can realistically say now, I really enjoy this. I don't, I actually find myself getting up in the morning. This is what I'm craving. This is what I'm wanting. I'm not going, oh, but it'd be so much better with all that Splenda and coffee made in it. Um, it's just, I, I really like it. I can't lie. I've always, I'm, I'm being brutally honest with you guys on everything that's going through my head because, you know, in the past I wanted to make certain changes and I, and I couldn't do it or I, I, I just never was able to implement them and I'm figuring out what it was that kept me from making progress back then. It's all up here, which up here there's a lot going on. But um, anyway, I did want to tell you too, speaking of, you know, so many of you are writing me lately and saying, you know, I, I haven't been able to stick to this. I don't know how you're getting past this, you know, crazy dieting mindset. Um, I, I did paleo for a while. I couldn't do it, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Number one, I'm not trying to convince anybody what to do with your diet. 
I share what works for me. Clearly, I'm not a trainer, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, um, and it's just not my position. It's not my position to tell anybody what works. I'm just sharing like, hey, this is what's working for me, this is what's helping me get past, and it's also helping me get past a lot of stomach issues. I just find it really disappointing to see, and I just saw this on, where was it? I was reading an article, and the whole, oh, chipmunks are so cute, you're so cute. Their cheeks get so big, it cracks me up, how much food they get in, and then this little chipmunk's cheeks are literally wider than his entire body. I need to Google that to see what they do. Anyway. I'm easily distracted, as you can see. Shiny object syndrome. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh, I was reading an article online, and it, it came up with this whole paleo discussion, and it got into like, you know, vegetarians going against paleo people, and then runners getting against CrossFit. It's like, I just. I don't understand why you can't just, like, if you like paleo and you like CrossFit, that works for you. There's nothing wrong with being passionate about it and really believing in it, but why can't you just kind of have the attitude of, this works for me, um, this is what I believe in, you know, I believe in the research that backs it up. Let's be honest, you guys, there, if you really wanted to, there's research to back up virtually any fitness, health, and wellness claim. If somebody wanted to tell you the number one reason that, that we're all fat is flour, they can back that up. Somebody else can, can make as much of a scientific sounding and backed up with data argument for vegetarianism as they or veganism as they can for paleo or or, you know, and then there's the same people that would say, you know, no, you have to have grains. It should be like a zone type diet, whatever. And then there's some people that say, you know, it's all about the USDA food pyramid, whatever. You know, number one, clearly I'm not an expert. I'm not schooled. I didn't go to, to um, get my degrees in all of this. So I wouldn't offer myself as an expert anyway. There's a little rabbit out there too. But I just, I don't understand like the hating of somebody just for having a different opinion. Why do you have to hate somebody if they, and, and both sides, I see it on both sides. You know, if you're vegetarian, you don't need to hate people that eat meat. If you eat meat, like let the vegetarians go and do their thing. We can all like live in the same world and eat what we want and be happy. Why does it have to be an argument? I, I the last thing I'm ever gonna do is try to convince people you have to do what I'm doing because number one it's not my place number two I just there is no one right way and there are obviously people that believe there is one right way um, go nutty but you know no one's asking you to rewrite the food Bible um, so I just I whenever I see that I'm like my God, people, get yourself a cup of coffee. You over there, put cream in your coffee. You over there, put Coffee Mate and Splenda in it. You over there, do it paleo. And why don't we just all cheers each other and say, I'm happy, you're happy, let's all be happy together. Seriously, life is too short. Why argue about things that are gonna go nowhere? You know, I, I don't, uh, Anyway, it's called pointless arguing. There's enough regular arguing we all have to do. There's enough stress in our life and things we can't control. Like, why add that? Why not get up and enjoy what you do? And if somebody asks you about it, like, hey, how's that working out for you? Say, this has been my experience. Be a good influence on somebody, but if you're not, like, let it go. Why get up every day and wanna argue and wanna hate people just because they don't do what you do? Before you did what you were doing, you were one of those people. Wow, that was a really unfortunate face I just made. Um, so anyway. But yeah, I gotta tell you, remember? I said that Scott, um, your inner skinny, dot CA, because he's up in Canada, and Valerie Waters were both telling me, they're like, you'll get to the point with black coffee where that's the way you'll get, you'll, you'll be so used to it, you won't even think of ordering with cream. Honest to God, I really enjoy it. What I'm doing, because I'm going on a trip this week, I am gonna pack, my coconut oil in a zipper bag, of course. That's what you do when you travel. Zipper bags are 
uh, plastic Ziploc bags or freezer bags, whatever, are the best uh, thing for traveling. Um, so I'm going to pack my coconut oil because um, I'm not sure. I'm staying at my friend's house if she has it. And um, plus the coconut oil is great for lotion, among other things. And I'm going to pack my cinnamon um, so that if I'm in the airport, like I was before, here's the one thing I'm going to tell you. Last little um, ramble before I shut up at 12 minutes. Um, there's a bird on my door. Oh my God. I am not a bird feeder. Meaning like my door. <laughs> I think he was like, is this the thistle feeder? Try to say that fast. Um, God, what point what was the point I was making? Um, oh, when I'm in the airport, I've gone to Starbucks and ordered like, um, a large black coffee and then I put my cinnamon in it. It is not the same at home. When I'm at home, that's my coffee maker right back there. Um, I make Starbucks French roast. Um, I don't think I'm making it really weak, but it tastes really good. Why? Maybe I'm ordering too large of a coffee. Maybe that's what I need to do. Order a tall, which I've never done at Starbucks ever, tall anything. Maybe that's what I need to do is order a tall, because I'm ordering too much coffee. I'm just rambling. I just, some people go, order the blonde roast. I like French roast. I like espresso. <gasps> That's what I'm going to do. Order an Americano. Do you know what an Americano is? Google it. Um, and we'll discuss this tomorrow. I have to go. I have a busy day. And I will talk to you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow. Bye.